Alright YouTube, so today I'm gonna do a story time on the time I almost lost my leg. I got these drugs in my system and I'm still trying to take the pain away. Take the pain away. Me, I don't need nobody trying to change my ways. Step in this phase, I'm dying slowly trying to count my days. Trying to count my own change, that's my fault. The time I got it, where it rest in me. A felony, hey. all my nigga rest in peace. Remember me, my Alright, so at this time I was a young nigga, fam. I was like damn near seven, eight on some shit, bro. But we were like, bro, we we lived in the hood at this time on some shit. So like, um, we like, you know, back then when I was younger on some shit, bro, it was like a lot different. Like, kids were outside like all the time. Like we stayed outside all day long from the early in the morning time to. Latest fucking night, niggas racing to the, racing the motherfucking street lights. On, like that was a real thing that we did back in the day, bro. Kids don't do that. No, like niggas used to be outside playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards and get uh, motherfucking doing karate, all type of shit. Little little niggas, nigga running around playing football, nigga hiding the tag, you no know, nigga acting like we shooting, like doing like um like act like we shooting each other, all types of shit, like. My nigga running, running around. My nigga just being bad. Nigga just being, just being kids. Like, a nigga was even banging back then on some shit. Like, a nigga was just a kid. You know what I'm saying? Pure. A nigga was pure. But yeah, this day, I don't know what we were doing. We we're just, we we're really just outside playing. You know, um, I was. But even back then, I was fucking with the hoes. But that's a whole other start time. But we were at my homeboy crib. Me and my brother's homeboy crib. And my niggas, Dietrich and Darius, they were out there too. And it was a, the nigga house that we were at. I don't remember his name, but he was a light-skinned nigga. He was from Brooklyn. But, like, he came down there in the summertime. And it was, like, these other kids that stayed across the street. And, like, they... They were, they did, like, they were straight, like, they were, like, some teenagers, but they, they used to just hang out with us and shit, like, we used to, like, fight and play karate and shit, like, in the yard, in their yard and shit, like, they had these big-ass dogs, and, like, they were pit bulls, and it was a girl, and she was pregnant at the time, and one of the teenagers, the guy, he was walking, walking the dog and shit around the neighborhood, we weren't playing no mind because, like, he always did that and shit. Like, we, we, we saw the dogs before, and it was straight. Like, we weren't really paying no attention. So we were playing on the trampoline and shit, and we had got off the trampoline. I, at least I had got off the trampoline, and we were, like, playing um, some type of game. We were running around the trampoline, and um, it was somebody on the trampoline. Like, you hop on, and you try. It's like King of the Hill, but, you like, you have to stay on the trampoline on some shit. But, yeah, the dude with the dog, he had walked that way. And, I don't know, he was just being childish as fuck that day on some shit. So, like, the dog had got, like, he had walked up by the trampoline and shit. And, like, I was off the trampoline. And he was, like, sick. Like, you know, you know how you talk, tell a dog to attack by saying sick. Like, so he said sick, sick. And the dog was like, rrr, 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 and it, like, <laughs> I said, rrr, rrr, rrr. but the dog, like, it started growling at me, then it just, like, launched at me on some shit, and it bit my leg. And when it bit my leg, like, it's like, it's like, it bit it, then he has grabbed the dog and yanked it off me. And then he had, like, I think he had just left. I think that nigga just left after the dog bit me and shit. So, my homeboys and shit, they had was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And I had got up, and I was trying to walk home. And they were like, nah, bro, don't don't walk home. So they had, they all had, like, grabbed me and had picked me up and carried me to the house and shit. And they had took me outside, like, to my porch. And my mom, they had, like, knocked on the door. And, then, like, they knocked on that bitch hard as fuck. And my mom came out of the she was like, what happened, what happened? And they were like, he got bit by a dog, she, he got bit by a dog. And she was like, what the whoop? Uh, she was like, oh, shit, what the whoop, dude? She, I don't remember exactly what she said, to be honest. Like, you gonna be a thousand with you. I don't remember what she said, but she was talking about, I'm about to take you to the hospital. What the whoop? She told my brother to get, uh, uh, get his stuff and get my other little brother to take. And some shit. And... Yeah.
and they got in the car and shit, and they put me in the car, and she was like, so they she asked them like who like who dog was it that bit me, and they were like it was a dude down the road, and, was, and she was like I'm gonna sue with the wood, with the wood, and you he better be okay with the wood. Uh, you know, being a mom and shit with the wood. So she took me to the hospital. We stayed in the waiting room for like damn near 30 minutes to an hour. She had my, I had my leg propped up. And I was in a, like the little wheelchair, and I was like riding around and like riding around the uh, little emergency room and shit. And I was just like, nigga was still like I didn't really feel the pain at all because like I guess my adrenaline was pumping. Like I wasn't really feeling shit at all. So like all I knew was just, like I had a big ass hole in my leg and I still got a scar right here, like. I had a big ass, I had even more than that, but I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But, yeah, the dog had bit my leg and shit. So, we finally went back to the back room, and the doctor was like, um, it doesn't look like you got rabies or nothing, um, just make sure you clean it. And they were like, we can't stitch it up because it's not a cat bite. You can stitch up a cat bite, but you can't stitch up a dog bite. For, I don't know why, but for some reason you can't do it for a dog bite. And they were like, just clean it and keep it like, they put patched it, like, they put like a little patch thing on there. And they're like, just clean it every day with the, with the wood. So I was out of school for like damn near a week or two. And like, every day, like, I had like, it was kind of nasty, bro. I had like, my meat was hanging out my leg. Like, and like, it was like, the doctor said that. If the dog would have did like that, he would have like ripped my leg off. Like I could have lost my leg that day, cause I was little as fuck, bro. I was like a little ass kid on some shit, bro. Like the dog could have really like ripped, like easily ripped my leg off if he wanted to. Like yeah, it would have been bad, bro. So God was with me that day, and I still got the scar. Today, bro, it healed up a lot though. At first, I had like a big ass another scar, and not scar, but I had big ass like cut on the other side of my leg too, like where the teeth had pulled, I guess. But that's just where like the his main teeth, like his canine, had went into my t in my leg. But yeah, that's the time that I had almost lost my leg to a dog biting. If y'all want more story times like this, let me know. And yeah, we're gonna keep it lit. See say full pack on guy. Yeah. Crip, crip, crip. Blue rag, that's crip shit. Cripplet, that's the crip bitch. Yeah. And then the set we smoke crip sticks. Every bitch stuck the crip dick. True. Still crippin' like Tookie Mug. Hope the shells don't put me cut. Straight up. And we ain't dancing, we crip walk. Shut up, bitch, it's a crip talk.